Hi everyone. Hope you all are well. I am Dr. Mohammad Siraj Al Faizi, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Langat Singh College, Muzaffarpur. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to explain about diazomethane. What does mean? Di means you know two azo function group you know nitrogen nitrogen double bond and methane you know CH4. So if you look at this molecule, you will get this is the part of methane. Carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, single bond. Two hydrogen of methane replaced by nitrosonator. So, exclusively we can say that this is the structure formula of diazomethane. What is meaning of charge here? You see nitrogen which is in center position has positive charge and terminal nitrogen have negative charge. Why positive and why negative you should know from the basic chemistry because here two bonds and here four bonds you know the normal bond of nitrogen is 3, here maximum, here minimum. So today we will discuss applications of diazomethane. Now you know that diazomethane CH2N2 is a yellow poisonous potentially explosive compound which is a gas at room temperature. The structure of diazomethane explain using three resonating form. I will show you. First you see the yeast is yellow compounds. So how people synthesizing this type of molecules in the laboratory? You look at the setup of the laboratory what type of glassware is here, thermometer means creation need, heating, all this setup you need for the synthesis of diazomethane. So this is the molecular modeling, you will see this black one is carbon and this two white is hydrogen, this blue one is two nitrogens. So it is written here. Uh, now this is the resonating form. You have seen already that this is the resonating form. You see CH2 nitrogen negative positive. It undergoing is like that. If this bond will shift on carbon then it becomes the positive and in same way if lones we are shifted there and this is shifted on carbon carbon become the negative and this nitrogen become neutral. Now the very important questions is diazomethane undergo photolysis it remove the nitrogen then it become the carbene. So carbon single bond hydrogen carbon single bond hydrogen. Uh, here two electrons one is up another one is down if up and down is there in the same orbit singlet carbon you see this one is two electrons it up this one is also up so it become the triplet so singlet carbon and triplet carbon you will learn this point in 
intermediate intermediate means reaction intermediate so what is the applications of diisomethane you can see here so what happened in these reactions? This is carboxylic acid in presence of this reagent diazomethane. What diazomethane did here? It replaced this hydrogens with the methyl group. You see this blue one is attached here. Before that, hydrogen was there. Now, so conversion of carboxylic acid to methyl ester, this is the main application. You see, this center and this center is unaffected. Reaction occurs at this center. This is active hydrogens react with methane diazomethane and forming this methyl ester. What is the mechanism behind it? You know the structure of diazomethane. This is one resonating structure. So what will happen if this hydrogen removed? So you can see here this negative charge approach on CH3 and this bond will break. What will happen? Nitrogen gas form and still this methyl group attach on this car. Another most important application is conversions of alkene to cyclopropane. You see this is alkene symmetrical alkene CS3 CS3 hydrogen hydrogen react with diazomethane under heating it gives this cyclized product tricyclic and this is the CS2 group insertion reaction this is you see the mechanism remove nitrogens this carbene now you know the carbene two types we will discuss in next video what is the meaning of singlet and triplet you already learned but how you utilize in the reactions mechanism so you see here this carbene attack on this double bond and it becomes cyclized products so a lot of application of carbene with the help of diazomethane you will get if you have acid ester will form if you have acid halide you see diazo product will form imine type and if you have acetylene derivative you will get cyclized products if you have double bond again cyclized product this is heterocyclic compound if you have diazomethane and you have ether you will get such type of products and so on a lot of applications so hope this video will be helpful to you if you like this video then subscribe my channel share it with your friend thank you for watching